and they want the big passion, but they don't have it. But I want to, I'll give you the first rule of entrepreneurship that I've learned, which is use what you have. And a lot more people have pain. A lot more people have anger. A lot more people have shame. And if you can use that as your gas in the beginning, you'll eventually get to a point where you can get out of that loop and then find something that you are really passionate about. But if you can't tie your shoes, you can't lift the weight, you can't send the DM, then you have to start with whatever you have. And so for me, it was hatred of my current existence. I hated being a entrepreneur. I hated being a wannabe. I hated being one of those people who like talked about all the things they were going to do and didn't do anything. Um, I hated living the life that my dad wanted me to live. I was, I was his bitch. That's what it was. I was his bitch. I was living his dreams out, not mine. And that was, you know, led to that other tweet, which was, um, sometimes your parents' dreams have to die in order for yours to live. And for me, I realized that the idea that my father had of me as his son, that image had to die in order for the image of myself that I wanted to be to live because I kept trying to quit my job and go be an entrepreneur. And every time I'd have the conversation, be like, ah, come over, we'll talk about it. We'll have dinner, you know what? And he'd always talk me off the ledge. It was always over and over again. Good salesman. Yeah. And, or (laughs) great authoritarian. Um, (laughs) 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 You don't need to persuade when you have compliance. Um, And so, um, and so everybody has that person or, or it, it might actually be somebody who's talking you off the ledge, um, or it might just be a voice in your head. It doesn't really matter because that, that voice in person that only happened once or twice probably keeps talking to you when you're at home. Mm. Um, but the big thing for me, when I, when I decided to make the jump and mind you, I was such a bitch about it that I, I had to drive across the country before I called him to tell him that I'd left. Yeah. I remember that. Like story. I didn't want to, yeah, I didn't yeah. want to confront him. Um, which he then like flew off the handle about. Um, but I just knew, and this is the Tony Robbins quote, but it's just when the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. And I think that, I think pain moves people far, far more effectively than pleasure does.